in Brazil. Bike thieves attempt to leave with four bicycles out of an apartment complex, unaware that the property manager and a Brazilian shogun with a katana was ready for them. Now it appears all four bikes were recovered, but the only article I could find was in Portuguese, which roughly translated to Samurai with Japanese sword prevents bike theft, as apparently the local authorities do not react to these types of situations. So this Brazilian Ronin reacted. Even though he doesn't own any of the four bikes, he was just sick of the thefts as this is the fourth incident at this apartment. Now obviously this happened in Brazil, so it shouldn't foreshadow what could occur stateside, but possibly. Just because you tell local law enforcement to stop responding to smaller petty crimes doesn't mean criminals stop stealing, and it doesn't mean citizens will just roll over and accept their losses. We know places like California have things like the Samurai Cop Cavalry at their disposal, and if they're not available, clerks just embrace the role themselves. And not just California, as the same company across the country in New York did the same shortly after. So not only with North America, but now South America is seeing a sudden resurgence of Samurai justice. It just goes to show how society is slowly rejecting modernity and embracing tradition. Because as unconventional as Bushido Brazilians is, it apparently worked out. As the Reddit replies wondered why the thieves didn't simply ride the bikes away, the top response explains, nobody acts rationally when being chased by a man with a samurai sword, as he likely has the power of God and anime. Now, did Anime Kid grow up and become the Brazilian Ronin? Not directly, but definitely in spirit. And I admit this clip is a bit inconsequential compared to everything else going on in the world, but I think it's equally important to sneak in something we can just enjoy every now and then. But be sure to check out the video about the Samurai Cowboy Cops from Santa Monica, because that is a real thing that actually happened, and somehow they're just pretending that it never did. 